we got you coming back. That's awesome. I know. <laughs> It's almost been a year, believe it or not. Yeah, yes. that's Yeah, you were one of our earlier, earliest guests. Which is, yeah, I think it was in August. Was it August? So yeah, it's almost a year. That's awesome. Yeah. Welcome back, uh, Josh, to Kicking Tables. It is such a pleasure to have you. It's like uh, it's been a, like a year since we saw you yeah. last with uh, Zoo Tiles He May Starter Set One, mm -hmm. and of course you are ready to launch sometime later this year. Uh, starter Set Two, hopefully September. Yeah. So for those who didn't see your original interview with us, why don't you uh, give us a briefer on what Zoo Tiles He May is? Sure. Uh, let's see. The Real quick and dirty version of it is uh, if you're if for TCG players or um, CCG player collectible card game tradable card game folk, yeah. um, if, if whoever's familiar with that, if you can imagine taking your favorite one of those and dominoes and they kind of had a baby, this is kind of the play <laughs> pattern that um, Zoo Tiles um, provides basically. Right. And so um, and then starter set one. Uh, well, the game is loosely based on the creatures of the Chinese Zodiac. Okay. And so right. if you aren't familiar, there's 12 creatures in the Zodiac. And we launched uh, something called Starter Set 1 in November. And That's that right. had six of the 12 creatures. And then we're um, finishing up the Zodiac and uh, with Starter Set 2, which will have the other six. And so that will kind of complete the whole thing. And then from there, we'll kind of roll off into uh, boosters and expansions and all that kind of fun stuff later on. Okay, so starter awesome. set one and two kind of complete your 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 beginning effort, your, your starting effort. Yeah, so for people who kind of are into the Chinese Zodiac or at least know their own character, you know, um, now they, if, if, I know a lot of people who are like, oh, I'm an ox, but ox wasn't in starter set one. And they're ex super excited that starter set two is coming out. And now they can get ox, dragon, snake. So there's a, a good groundswell of people who okay. want to get into the game by the way of their animal. Their own, their own, uh, you know, counterpart. What what are the six that are in starter set two? Starter set two has dragon, snake, rooster, um, ox, rat, and monkey. All right, so my dragon is finally out there then. Your dragon is finally out there. All yeah. right. I can't remember what I am. Sean, you seem like I think a I'm monkey, a pig. Probably. I think I'm a pig. pig sounds, actually, pig sounds right too. Team pig. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm a pig. Yeah. So uh, does the art style stay the same between the two sets? Art style stays the same, and it's going to be consistent all throughout the Hime, um, the, the Hime version of Zoo Tiles. Like, I think we might have spoken in the past how um, as Zoo Tiles progresses, yeah. um, there's going to be different sets. Mm. And so the Hime set is kind of the one that we're leading with, and that's all going to um, stay within the same artist uh, okay. for the most part. There might be a few guest artists that pop in from here and there, but um, if you're familiar with Star Set 1 and you like the art in Star Set 1, you'll be happy to know that it's a continuation by the same artist. And that was kind of the reason why it took us some time, because our artists can only draw so yeah. fast, so and we we can only whip so hard. So, right. You know, I mean, those things take time. You could always get another whipper, but I don't know if he's going to be able to draw faster. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, That's yeah. The thing. Now, are the sets combinable? Can Absolutely. You, yeah, and yeah, yeah. I know it's. I know each starter set is for two players, but can you now do four players? Is it built for having four players all at once? Absolutely. Yeah, you can do four players. Um, and even actually, the rules uh, that are in starter set two are what I call the revised and expanded rules. So okay. we got some feedback from the original set that was in starter set one, and so it kind of made some you know little adjustments. Nothing major, but just to kind of you know clear up a little points here and there. And then we threw in the rules for customized deck construction oh. and and multiplayer. So yeah, you can take tiles from Star Set One, mix them up with Star Set Two. You can do all kinds of um, whatever to your heart's content. And that's kind of the goal of Zoo Tiles, kind of in a nutshell, is to you know let people's imagination and creativity just run wild with this kind of play pattern. Right. And uh, and I'm super excited to see you know where that takes us. That's cool. That's awesome. Are there any new mechanics introduced with the with the starter set too? Mm, well, uh, let's see. There's not new mechanics per se, but there are new powers because, like, each creature kind of 
does things that other creatures can't do. Right. So, like, you'll find... Um, well, I don't want to give too many spoilers, but let's just say the way Rooster behaves is completely different than the way Dragon behaves. And because of that, there are, um, there are you know, interesting tiles that kind of um, do things in the Rooster space that Dragon will never see. Okay. And Huh? Now, you mentioned that uh, you got feedback from uh, Starter Set 1, and you've kind of incorporated some of that feedback into Starter Set 2. Is, are, and is any of that feedback retroactive to Starter Set 1? Are you going to reprint with maybe some changes or, or maybe just rule changes? So it's all, it's all retroactive, but the changes weren't necessarily like rules changes. They were more okay. like um, like a way that I could explain the same rules, but in a different way, you know, ah. for, for Star Set 1. Like, um, I'm trying to think of some, they were basically just like little hiccups um, in in people's um, understanding of the rules from Star Set 1, okay. and I just spent, kind of cleared up. But there haven't been any like core mechanical rule changes, so okay. if, you, if you learned and you enjoy Star Set 1, you don't have to worry about... Like, it's not going to change too much. Is, yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay, so just more clarity around the rules themselves is what you've you've cleaned up the yeah. rules. Yeah, I've kind of underlined a few things, like in, in you know, in the second uh, rule book, kind of like make sure you read this part here, you know. Add a few yeah. exclamation marks. Exactly. <laughs> yep. Awesome. So with with the future of, of Zoo Tiles, you mentioned you know this is sort of the the end of the sort of the Zodiac set. Is there any uh, anything you can tease for us that we might see coming up with future sets? Well, let's see. Yes, I can tease. Um, okay. I can let you know that along the lines of the Zodiac, we are going to be doing um, a licensed version. I can't say what the license is right now, but it's based on a very popular worldwide um, anime. Nice. I think. Okay. Actually, in its um, third season um, currently, so um, that's actually pretty cool. Um, so I can't really say... Um, what it is, I don't think, but um, <laughs> but, I'm gonna, but but that will actually be um, not a um, not a not a edition of Zoo Tiles and stuff. It's going to be a board game powered by Zoo Tiles. Oh, by the engine, okay. The mechanics of Zoo Tiles, yeah. So it's going to be a traditional, you know, tabletop, all inclusive box thing. But if you're familiar with the rules of Zoo Tiles, you'll be able to jump into this just like that. And what I'm trying to do is have some of the tiles in the game, in the box set game, in the board game, from this licensed property, also be able to be used retroactively into uh, Zoo Tiles. So those are some of the things. So like, if, for instance, um, if you wanted to take, um, if, gosh, I'm, I'm about, I, I, you know what, I'm going to have to just stop there because I want to go into it and explain a little bit more. But if I do, that's going to let the cat out of the bag. So, um, so yeah. The answer to the question is yes. We're going to be yes. doing okay. stuff, and it should be really, really exciting. That well, got us very, very excited and, and anticipating. You know, your third visit on on the right. show. Right. I was. Yeah. I was just going to say that we'll have you on yet again. Well, every year we'll just be an annual visit with it with us, Josh. So. Just that would our, be great. We'll just we'll put it in the calendar every year. Visit with Josh. Record another show. So, yeah. You know, we'll just uh, annual event is what it's going to be. Cool. Uh, listen, we've got a, a new thing on our show that we didn't do last time we spoke to you. It's a, a lightning round of questions to get to know you as a gamer outside of your own game. Are you cool for this? Just really quick questions. You just answer as quick as you can, and uh, we'll just have some Absolutely. fun. All Hit right. Me. All right. Let's do it. Deck builder or deck constructor? Hmm. Um, deck constructor. Okay. Last game you played? Oh, uh, wise and otherwise. Uh, favorite classic game. Oh well, really, really classic. There was a game called Feudal, which my dad kind of had, and we played that. That's like a '70s type oh, thing. Yeah. So I, I remember that game. Yeah, yeah. that's jump. That's, yeah. that's jumping to my. I, I'm old too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> science fiction or fantasy? Fantasy. Uh, what's a game you most want to add to your collection? I've been hearing a lot of good things about Merchant's Cove. I want to try that. Um, and yeah, there's quite a few, but um, that one I'm, I'm hearing good things about. I'd love to add that. Awesome. What's your most recent game purchase? I just purchased um, Cairo 
or cryo cryo i think okay. it is okay oh yeah cool yeah just purchased that it was pretty fun actually. this is this yeah. is a very important question important okay. it's close to my heart star wars or star trek oh man it depends on the decade you ask me i'm yeah. actually starting to gravitate more back to the trek but um you but a, val you, a honestly, valid answer is both <laughs> valid answers both <laughs> definitely both but if someone was you know threatening me um to pick one right now I'd, I'd probably lean a little bit toward track all right and finally a campaign or legacy uh campaign yeah definitely love a good campaign yeah. game awesome oh, yeah that's that's our questions those are great that was easy yeah uh, listen i'd like to know how has zoo tiles uh he may been doing since you lost last year the, the first starter set obviously you're coming out with starter set too so i'm assuming it's been doing well yeah you know i mean as as i think we probably talked about before Zoo, uh starter set one was my first you know game pu published and it was self-published we didn't do a kickstarter thing like that so um it was i didn't know what was going to happen so we launched it and got it in the hands of some people and then it ended up winning a couple awards and, wow. and being acknowledged as like um an influencer named it one of her top five games of 2020 even though it only came out in november so that was really cool and then another group named it one of their top games of 2020 um like a like a group and so i was like kind of blown away i wasn't expecting that you know you don't know what's right. going to happen so, um so that's kind of powered um, my um, in, I don't know, enjoyment, I guess, or my um, desire to keep pushing, you know, I guess oh, yeah. if first that one would have come out and everyone was like, what is this garbage? <laughs> you know, and like, oh, we hate it. You know, um, that would have probably, probably would have been the end of it. But since, uh, since we've had a little bit of cheerleading and, um, and the sales for an indie game, um, from what I'm told, are actually pretty good. We got into major distribution so I, I don't want to go into the whole distribution side of the thing but um but distribution and particularly getting into like one of the top five major distributors is is a challenge and, and we were able to do that um, based on the strength of the, and the popularity of the game so that was that's been really really helpful so yeah i'm i'm super excited and i and working on starter set two um well Seeing people's reaction to starter set one, seeing some of the YouTube videos that have popped up, you know, and people who you, I've never met this person in my life. They have no reason to be nice or kind or anything. And then they drop a video and they're like, oh, this looks really interesting, yeah. blah, 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 you know, and I can't wait for starter set two or, or more tiles. And that was probably, that's probably been the biggest complaint so far is that when people got starter set one, they were like, okay, I see it. I see what it's trying to do, but I want more and I want more right now, you know, and so, um, just trying to get more out there, you know, as quickly as, like, as, quickly as we can do it. That's awesome. But, so now that you have all 12 of the Zodiac, uh, which one's your favorite? Which one do you gravitate towards when you play? Oh, I can't have favorites, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I designed them all. But you know what? You know, right now, Rabbit is really rascally. So that's a, that's a good one. Um, Pig is also, I really like Pig a lot. Some of the ones in Starter Set 2, you guys, um, whoever fans of the game, when you guys see Rooster, you're going to be like, what, what, what is this? What is this? <laughs> like, you're just going to be like blown away. And then Rat also, Rat has some really, um, really powerful stuff going for it. So, and then, I mean, I could just go on about each and every one. Just you know? all 12 of them. Just, just yeah. here's all my, my favorite is one through 12. <laughs> yeah, exactly. At least, you know, you've balanced your, your, your affection towards them as well as the game. Yeah. Well, I've, I've tried to, right. I mean, that's one of the big challenges, you know, of, of, of any game is, is balance, right. Yeah. And trying yeah. to, um, and trying to get that right. And I feel so far from the feedback from starter set one, that the balance of starter set one was good, you know? And good. so, um, and in play test of starter set two, it seems like that balance is still held up. And so um, I'm just excited to get that out there and to um, give fans more of what they are wanting. And a really cool thing is I'm starting to um, get, you know, now that COVID is kind of succeeding, you know, the worst yeah. time in the world to launch a new game is right. <laughs> was, was last year, right? So now I'm starting to actually be able to have stores go, oh, we want you to come in and do a demo day or, you know, a demo for your game. And I'm like, that's yes, awesome. that's what I wanted to do last year, like all last year. So, um, so super excited about that as well. So, give us your final thoughts before we let you go. Uh, just 
sell the game to everybody. Tell people why they should pick up this game. Yeah. So, okay. Um, here's, here's the reason for doing it. Um, I was a big magic player back in the day, loved magic. Um, and when I was young, I also liked to play chess. Um, I find chess now kind of boring and I really like magic, but I think magic's gotten a little bit too much for most people. So if you're like, um, you know, a parent and maybe you have like a tween, like a nine to 12 year old and you want to introduce them to the world or, you know, give them a stepping stone maybe into the, to the world of trading type things, yeah. I think Zoo would be a perfect start for that. And then if you're an adult and you just have like um, a like of anime um, art style um, and you kind of like that, you know, art style with the TCG play mechanics, I would I would suggest trying that out as well. And um, those are two great, you know, demographics that can jump into the game. And I'm pretty sure, you know, um, they'll find something that they like. Awesome. And you are targeting mid-September. Hopefully yes. somewhere around mid September twenty twenty one. So this year mm -hmm. coming up fast. So awesome. I know the I know the first one's doing well. So good luck with the second one. Uh, I look forward to seeing that. Josh, thanks so much for coming back. And again, we'll make it an annual visit. How's that sound? I hope so. That would be great. So that just means you have to immediately start working on another game. Oh yeah. Exactly. <laughs> awesome. start. All right, Josh, thanks so much for being with us again. Thanks, guys. Hey everybody, this is Josh Bakken with Zoo Tiles and um, just had a great time on OMG Nexus. Please uh, hit the subscribe button below for future episodes and um, yeah, please pre-order Zoo Tiles. Uh, that would be a great help. Thanks so much.